Most people don't really know what it even is. But we'll see. It's a long way to November. First of all, we don't we don't predict what's going to happen in November. You know what the scripture says? Take care of today. You know, there's enough issues today. You don't have to worry about tomorrow. You know, people say it's unfair. It's This is an effort to restore balance. It's just protesters and noise. He's an idiot. Those folks that have somehow got their snout snuck in the trough. Oh, it's going to be a, it'll be a tough job. Change is hard for people. And you don't come in there and say you're all a bunch of knuckleheads, but we got to represent the facts. <laughs> Does it mean anything to you, all the chanting out in the hallway? I mean, I, I think it's extremely rude. These are teachers. Yes. These are cafeteria workers. These are bus drivers. These are police. These are fire. We want people to participate. They come down from all parts of Ohio today to participate in government, and the doors are locked. That is wrong. Marlene Quinn wants you to vote no, but supporters of issue two simply hijacked her message and are using parts of it for their own purposes. He's scrambling to save face and he's getting some major help from out of state special interest groups, including a few associated with Liz Cheney. And so Liz Cheney, Carl Rove, all sorts of names we know are coming in big time to Ohio to try and save Kasich's law. Dr. King said that the arc of moral justice is long but it bends towards justice. Senate Bill 5 is unjust, Senate Bill 5 is un-American, and Senate Bill 5 is plain out wrong. The arc of justice will bend towards what is right, what is good, and what is just, and I urge the defeat of this un-American, unpatriotic, and unjust bill, Senate Bill 5. The trampling of workers' rights in this state yeah. will not be tolerated. Yeah. We did our part. We fought like hell. Thank you. We want you to do your part. We're taking this to the ballot. Are you with us? And what we're going to do, we're going to work like hell and fight like hell to do it. Uh, that's all we can do. Uh, we will be out at everything. Organizers of We Are Ohio say delivering these signatures to the Secretary of State's office is more than just a requirement to get a referendum on the ballot. They say it's a message to lawmakers. Today we stand together to send a clear message to those extreme politicians who support Senate Bill 5. And we say 1,298,300... Wow, uh, that's the most signatures ever turned in on any measure of any kind for any purpose in Ohio in the entire history of the great state of Ohio. Talk to your friends, talk to your family, talk to your neighbors, let everybody you know what's happening here. Everybody in the state of Ohio has to know, and if they know, they'll be with us. Yeah. We gotta get out there and take it to the street. Yeah. I came today dressed in dark colored clothes under this green shirt. That's for a funeral because Senate Bill 5 dies tonight. In Ohio, with 89% of precincts reporting, it's a blowout. The union stripping law has been recalled. They just called it. Issue 2 is gone. <laughs> And the results of putting an exclamation point on their argument that issue two unfair to Ohio workers. Denying public employees the right to strike or to collectively bargain was a giant overreach. This is a victory for all Ohioans. It's great news. This is a huge victory for the people of Ohio, for the middle class, for working people. This is great. Clearly and emphatically, Ohioans have said to the politicians who passed Senate Bill 5 and supported Issue 2, we don't turn our backs on the people who watch ours. We are...